at let me help her and then i give her 10 euros uh, and she said that it's lead to it's lead to madam and she was calling me madam and i was like get the fuck out of here in fact i told her damn me give give, give me back that 10 and uh, i gave her that uh, the mama the the ungrateful um, bitch that look of uh, you should be ashamed of yourself I could have done something else with that 10 euros, but I chose to give another African sister like me. Like, there are people who are entitled out here. Not to me, and any Christmas time. And you know, my answer is, Tawatumia salamu, kupitia pambaneni na halienyu, FM. FM. FM, okay? Because you can't be the whole of 11 months you didn't care for me. But now that it's Christmas time, you feel like I should. I must. By the way, I must send you something. Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lizzie. I can a YouTuber here in Italia. Another Saturday, another story time video. But this one is going to be more of a rant than story time because I'm pissed as fuck. Can you see it on my face? There are some people out here who are entitled as fuck. Have you ever come across uh, someone who is in dire need? Someone who is begging. Someone who needs your help. But when you give them a hundred, they want a thousand. Like they want a thousand. They're like a hundred is, is kidogo. Give me a thousand. That is what happened to me the other day. So, uh, yesterday, the 23rd of uh, de December, a Friday, I was like, let me go do grocery shopping for Christmas. Because I don't want to do the late grocery shopping on the 24th and whatever. So I, when I was entering the supermarket, out here, out here there are some Africans who uh, stand in front of the supermarket uh, to beg. You know, to beg. Anyone who comes out of the supermarket, they can give them one euro, two euros, and whatever. Which is a very bad picture, but I don't want to, I don't want to whatever anyone, because I don't know anyone's situation and whatever. So when I was entering the supermarket, I saw this African woman, I guess she was from West Africa with her two kids. And I was like, uh, when I get out of the supermarket, I will give them something for Christmas. I usually, by the way, don't give, uh, especially men, them African men who are strong and they can get a job. I usually don't give them nothing. I learned my lesson when I gave someone something and they started following me and but anyway. So I saw this African mama with her two kids and I, I was like, ciao. And she greeted me, but she didn't even greet me that nicely the way she was greeting them white people. Maybe she was like, <laughs> this black kamama does not have nothing for me. But I was like, I smiled even at the two, them two kiddos. Went inside, did my grocery shopping. When, after I had finished to pay, I removed uh, uh, 10 euros. This, that is like a thousand, uh, a thousand Kenyan shilling and five euros to pay uh, the parking fee, parking lot fee. So I had 15 euros in my hand. I was like, 10 euro I'm going to give her. And then the 5 euro I'm going to pay the parking. Okay. So when I got out, I smiled at her. I folded that 10 euro, which is 1,000 Kenya shilling. And I placed it on her hand. Then she did not even say thank you, by the way. She looked at the other hand she, and she saw the other 5, five euros that was supposed to pay the parking fee. This mama, can you imagine? She was like, give me even the, the other, give me Anke Yati Chinque euro. Give me even the, the give me even the other five euros. I was like, what? Yes, give me even the, the other five euros. You don't need. And I was like, I've just given you 10 euros, which is a thousand Kenya shilling. Uh, money that you did not even ask for. And I said, Merry Christmas. Why do you need the five euros that I have on my left, on my left hand? I was like, uh, Koza, what, what, what? And then I realized she speaks English because here is a mix of uh, people from different parts of Africa. Some of them don't speak the same language. And I was like, are you for real? I give you 10 euros, but you're asking me to give you the other 5 euros. Do you think that I have money to throw away? Just You could have just said thank you instead of telling me, give me even the other one, give me even the other one. Like, I was like, the audacity, the audacity of you not to appreciate the 10 euros, uh, the audacity. Because I even saw some some uh, people who are getting out of the supermarket and they were not even giving her anything, but they were giving her that eye of, what the fuck are you doing out here begging? And uh, me, a good Samaritan, who was like, uh, this is an African mama like me with two kids. 
I give you 10 euros and it's not enough. And I was like, how much did you want? Ah, 10 euros, 10 euros is, 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 is a poco, a poco. A poco is poco in Italian. It's, it's kidogo. And uh, you know, poco in Shen, you know what it means. So, <laughs> by the way, I came here and I had that poco in Italian was uh, litu. And then I know poco in, in Swahili in Shen is ho. I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, I was like, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should have just said thanks to this African sister of mine who has just given me what she had. Like 1,000 Kenya shillings. Even the, 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 the other, she had coins. She had coins in her, in her hand. So that means some people are giving her 1 euro, some people are giving her 50 cents, some people are giving her. And me, I give her 10 euros and she told me Ke poco, that it's poco, it's lead to Nikidogo. What the fuck? What the fuck? What kind of entit entitlement is that? I was like, I don't have anything more for it. But I can see that you have five euros in your other. But I'm like, this five euro, I have something else to do with it. Okay? I started shouting, by the way. And I was, I was like, okay. Mama Ali, Mama Davi, Lizzie, calm the fuck down. There are two kids here. Now these two kids were starting to look at both of us like, uh, we don't know who is mad our mama or this other african woman and i told her today vergognare you need to be ashamed of yourself today vergognare you should be ashamed of yourself you should have just appreciated like a 10 euro that this mama was like a poco a poco nikidogo nikidogo i could have done something else with it i could have bought something else with it in that supermarket but when i entered the supermarket i was like i am going to give this mama and her kids something and i give you 10 euros and and, and you're like a poco Nikidogo. Like, okay, guys. Nowadays, uh, I am not helping people. I am not helping people. If that is the, the, the attitude that people have out here, I am not helping at all. And by the way, if it was a man, it was an African man who was out there begging. I could not have given them anything. That is one thing that I said. Go and look for a job. But now this is a woman at around 5 p.m. And 5 p.m. during winter is already night time. This is a, an African woman. I thought an African sister. Actually, let me help her. And then I give her 10 euros. Uh, and she said that it's lead to. It's lead to. Madam. And she was calling me madam. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. In fact, I told her, damn me. Give, give, give me back that 10 euros. And of course, she didn't give me back that 10 euros. She put it right in, in, in her uh, jacket, whatever, pocket. And I just looked at her and I was like... Uh, my pew never again my pew my pew i looked at them at them, them kiddos and i was like uh, bonne feste merry merry christmas at the children and uh, i gave her that uh, the mama the the ungrateful um, bitch that look of uh, you should be ashamed of yourself i could have done something else with that 10 euros but i chose to give another african sister like me like there are people who are entitled out here Whew. and i got home and i was like okay okay these are the kind of people who will make maybe a needy person not to be helped because it's a scam out here like of late i'm really not helping much even them relatives and friends i'm not really into helping no more because even there are some relatives uh, who are looking at uh, who who are checking out uh, on us uh, now that is christmas time they have not even looked for you the whole of january february march april may june july august september october november but december they get out of them under them rocks and they're like hello unatutumia nini christmas time unatutumia nini christmas time and you know my answer is Tawatumia Salamu Kupitia Pambaneni na Halienu FM 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 okay because you can be the whole of eleven months you didn't care for me but now that it's Christmas time you feel like I should I must by the way I must send you something who the hell are you? Like uh, in the beginning when I came here in Italy I was so generous and whatever but now mm -mm. And if these are the people out here, relatives, friends who are entitled, you send them a hundred euros 
and they feel like a hundred euros ni kidogo, a hundred euros ni kidogo from abroad. And it to me a hundred euros from abroad, that is like 10,000 Kenya motherfucking shillings. And I think I need to work like, I don't know, maybe a week for me to earn a hundred euros or something or a few days. And if some of them that money back in Kenya or back in whatever, and some of them don't even reply. They don't even say nilipata pesa asanti and I got the money, thank you very much. Some of them will go back under the rock and then they will come back up when they need help. Like, <sighs> I am tired though. I am tired of helping. I am tired of helping. Oh, and that my mother, next time I go to that supermarket because I'm very sure she's always there. I am going to pass her like the wind. I will greet them to Totos because they are so cute and beautiful. But that come mama, an entitled mama, I will just look at her like, you ungrateful bitch. <laughs> hey! Anyway, guys, I hope uh, you appreciate the little things that people do for you. Even if it's not money, when they are there to listen to you, when they are there to hold your hand when you are, uh, uh, when, when you are down, when they are there to uplift you, Let's appreciate the little things that people do for you, but because it's not a must. It's not a must. It was not a must for me to give this mama that cut 10 euros. And I gave it, I gave that mama from the bottom of my heart. I was like, this is an African mama like me. I don't know her story. I don't know why she's standing in front of the supermarket begging for coins. And then I gave her a 10 euros. And she was like, a poco. It's lead to Nikidogo. Like, anyway, guys. Um, out here you have, you have to be working like, um, um, because people will try you in different ways. Anyway, guys, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope you are doing well, you and your families. Until next time, ciao, ciao.